Hello there, and welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Sigfi, ba -da -ba, and we're playing Resident Evil HD Remaster, part three. Yes, if you remember last time, we almost became a Jill Sandwich. Yes, I know, I put the pun out there. You almost become a Jill Sandwich. But anyway, we're now in a new part of the mansion. And we got a lot, probably a lot of exploring to do today. There's a lantern lying on top of the supplies. The warm light makes you relax. Yeah, but can I get to that note? Is that a note? Yes, I knew it was. Special instructions for the disposal of dead bodies. Okay. We have new information regarding those being... They may appear to be dead, but in fact they are able to come back to life. However... There are ways to prevent them from becoming active again. Currently there are two known methods to cease the, their resurrection. Incineration, destruction of the head. If further methods are discovered you will be notified immediately. Meanwhile to those who still have the will to live, oil has been placed on the first floor of the mansion. Take as much as you need. You'll need something to light it with which you'll need to find by yourself. Okay, so I am gonna check in my lovely box. See what we got. Oh, nice! Some handgun magazines and ink ribbon. So obviously, I'm gonna put my ink ribbons in there. But I am also probably gonna put the shotgun there because I believe that is a broken shotgun. And then I'm gonna take the first aid spray. I'm gonna put the jam in there. I'm gonna. Put that in there, and hmm, well, what we got? Take the handgun ammo. Maybe I should take out the knife and get back the uh, emblem. Okay, I think two spots should be decent enough for us to get to something. What have we got here? What's this? Will you take the fuel can team? Yep. Old boxes and step ladders lie neglected. Will you take the handgun magazine? More handgun ammo. There's still plenty of kerosene left. Refill your fuel can team. Ah with kerosene. Okay, do okay. The only problem is I don't have a lot of room in my inventory. So, okay. Enough of the chit chat. Let's get to killing some zombies and exploring some areas. Okay. I've already got first aid spray. I don't think I have the lighter because I'm pretty sure you can burn these guys only if I had something to light it with yeah obviously I don't have the lighter just yet so we're gonna have a look up these lovely stairs oh I remember these stairs I do I remember these stairs hello ah I'm just gonna stay here uh, pickable oh pickable okay Wow! After reading them instructions, she's now aiming for the head. Ha ha! Who would have thought? There's no knob, no knob on this door. You can't go through. There's no knob on this door. Can we go through here? You unlocked it. Okay, let's have a look. Where does this lead? Okay. We are. In a new area, I take it. Okay, um, picture. Okay, so I can go through here and have a look. Okay. An old fashioned gramophone, the record is Jupiter. 
Okay, something is flashing here. Will you take the dog whistle? Guess so. A crumpled memo. Today, Sir Spencer told me to hide something where no one could find it. Well, I had this idea. I figured if I could somehow have it protected by a dangerous animal like the vicious canine that lives here, no one will be able to get near it. As far as I can tell, the mutt is always hanging around the second floor balcony on the west side of the terrace. And he ought to come running at the sound of a dog whistle. This is where you come in. The thing is, I reckon you're the only person that can get near that damn dog without risking a serious mauling. Which means, only you can put this collar on him. The object that Sir Spencer wants hidden is concealed inside. You're the only person I can trust with this. Of course, you'll get something out of it as well. Remember that certain items that you've already wanted to get hold of. Well, in exchange for your services, I just might be able to get it for you. This could be work well for both of us. John Tolman. Okay, you. I'm very. Oh, I freaked me out of that camera angle, did? That more, more bullets. Will you take the handgun magazine? Why? I'm getting a lot of bullets now. Struggling with bullets last time. A chessboard card from Ivory. The game appears to have ended in checkmate. Hold on. Is there anything else over here? No. Hello. Okay. Botany. Uses of medical herbs. It is well known fact that there exist many plants that are credited with medical healing powers. Since ancient times, mankind has been healing wounds and diseases using various plants. In this book, we will sample three herbs that are native of the Arklin Mountains and briefly outline of each of their medical qualities. Each herb has a distinct colour and a distinct medicinal quality? Medicinal? What does medicinal mean? The green herb recovers physical strength. The blue herb neutralizes natural toxins. However, the red herb has no real effect by itself. We have found that mixing green and red herbs result in a magnified effect. Obviously, the red herb is basically like an extra to increase the dosage of your healing, or you can mix it with all three of them and create an ultimate herb. We will outline the effects of red herbs when mixed with other herbs when we have more data. Meanwhile, feel free to experiment on your own, for true knowledge is only acquired through experience. Aye, that is true indeed. What's that? Ah! It's the light here, I need that. Oh, blasphemy! Lovely. Well, at least I know where the lighter is. Let's just check this area a little bit more first. Oh, I see. It takes me out. Oh, that makes things a little easier then. So I can go down here, put some stuff in here that I really don't need. Oh, I thought that guy got up then. It was just a bit of thunder. Ho, ho, ho. Okay. And so things I don't think I need this just yet. So put that out. Uh, those I am I'm not too sure. I'm gonna keep hold of those. Dog whistle. Can I examine this? Anything I can get? By blowing into it, it generates frequencies only audible to the ears of ducks. You can call a dog with this whistle. Okay, so I'm going to put that into the box as well. That should do. I can go get myself the light and I can burn me some zombies up. If I remember right, my friend said... If you don't burn the zombies, they come back as like a inferno head or something. I think he said called. There's no knob on this door. You can't go through. Ah, so I gotta go round that way just to go back through that way. Ah, 
Alright, so go back over here, go get the lighter. Yes, I know about the open journal. I want the lighter. Thank you. There we go. Very good now. You watch me go to go burn him and he's already turned into what they're called crimson heads, I think it is. Inferno, I said Inferno head last time, didn't I? Yeah, no, I'm crimson heads, I think, I believe. That's what they should have been called. Okay. All right. Here we go. Oh, whoa, I set myself on fire. Not taking any chances. Oh, how lovely. Nice and crispy zombie. <clears throat> Woo, lost my voice then. All right. So I don't think we've checked this whole area out just yet. So I'll check that one back door out and then we've got an area we can check down below. And I believe there was something on the side that looked like a folder. Yeah, there was something on the side that looked like a folder. Ah, will you take the wooden, the wooden mount? I guess so. Any zombies around here? I can't see because of the camera angle. Okay, what we got here? It's locked. An emblem of armor is carved into the lock. Okay, so we can't go over that door yet. Oh. Can I check out these antiques? There's nothing here but a bunch of knickknacks. Just me. Someone would say, those are rare antiques. It's locked, an emblem of an armor. Okay, so I guess we're not going at that one. Oh. You used the sword key. Oh, new door. Oh. Jill, got any good news? Other than I'm still alive in this madhouse? No. Can't say it's much safer here either. We'd better secure our escape route first. There's gotta be a back door somewhere. All right then, let's split up again. See you later. Ciao. Okay. Random. Cutscene. That was random. Don't you normally get some like acid rounds or something? Like grenade rounds? As obviously I've checked this area now and I can't get through those other doors because I need a certain key. But hey, I've used the sword key again and got myself a cutscene. It was like, it was like a cutscene like Yo, 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 it's been a while. How you doing? You, you surviving in this mansion, in this hellhole and madhouse? Picture of a woman mourning in front of a large crowd. Oh. It's locked. Emblem of armor is carved into luck. Picture of a woman being menaced. I'll tell you what, the pictures in this mansion are just... Cynical man. Oh, there's a lot of herbs. I don't really need them right now, but at least I know where they are. Ah, an unlit fireplace. Ooh, ooh. Do I use that? I guess, I guess so, and then do I use that? Set the plank of wood on fire? Mm, there's a map of the mansion 2F. Take it. Oh, 
Nice. Okay, so we got ourselves a new map from that. You got the map of the mansion 2F. Oh, hold on, there's a book there. There's a book there. Can I read it? Can I read the book? No. Okay, just a lovely fireplace that was given me a map. Picture of a partly built mansion. It looks an awful lot like the one you're in now. It's locked. An emblem of a helmet is carved into lock. Oh, lovely. Anything's going to pop up. New. New zombies here. Okay. Oh, he's gone. At least I don't have to worry about him. Okay, so second game. As we have done quite a bit. You can save your progress using Grivim. Yes, please. Okay, so I'll put the ink ribbon back. Uh, shall we give the dog whistle a try? It says from the second. So I'm most likely guessing from the second floor. If I blow this lovely whistle. Some dog will come running. Okay, the doorknobs gonna fall off. Oh yeah, there's some more areas over here. I need to check. What have we got here? It's locked. The Spencer family emblem is carved into the doorknob. Oh! No! Oh yeah, yeah, take that. No! Oh, I've just wasted two now. Oh. I didn't see him there. He was like so close. Oh, what we got it? It's locked. An emblem of an armor is on it. Oh, man. There's so many locked doors in this game. This picture has been burnt in several places. You can't make out what it used to be. Oh, my God. That's creepy. Uh, are we going outside now? From the looks, yeah. Oh. Ah! No! Get a mold of that! Oh, you little cool. Okay, what have we got here? What's that? That's something written in the indentation. The defiler of the accursed coffin. Okay. It's locked. Hey, I guess we're not going that way just yet. So, went this way just to get myself bored by a bloody dog. You watch that be the dog that you can actually use the wolf whistle on the second floor for. Okay, I want to burn you. Uh. Ah, I can get myself bloody burnt.
That camera angle, mate, freaks me out, man. Oh, no! Do I get it? Hello? No, oh, I got it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, no! Good! Die! Jesus! What is my health on? Oh, my health is fine. Okay. Right. Use this. Okay. What is it? Dog whistle. By blowing it in, it turns the frequency audible to ears of a dog. You can call a dog with this whistle. Okay. I need to remember how to do that part. But anyway, I think did we come we come out of here when we met Barry? I think. Is it here? That we come out of. And Barry's like, Yo, yo, it's been a long time. How you doing? This mansion's crazy. I'm hallucinating and shit. You know? Dude. Okay. It's locked. Emblem of carved into luck. Ooh, do, do. Nope, nothing there. It's locked from the other side. Oh man. I think I can get in this way. Where did this go again? I still pretty much got the sword key out. Oh yeah, it was up here, wasn't it? Can I use the sword key on the a door over here? I know you come out of that door and there's You use the sword key! There we go. Oh, nothing that way. Oh dear. You used the lock pick. Oh. That's a first. Use the lock pick. I'm pretty sure there's crows out here. Ooh. Well, this is a different area. I don't remember this in the original game. What the hell? This is new. What was that? something no you unlocked it ah where is this going oh <laughs> well that was useful it just took me out there Anything out here? It's just an outside part of the mansion. Anything I can get? No. Okay, so we check that. Oh, 
Where is this? What was that? Oh! Is he dead? Oh, hello! How are you doing? Coming up the stairs and sneaky treaky me? Woo! No! He dead. He dead. He bleeding. If they bleeding, they dead. Okay, so what we got here? It's locked. An emblem of a helmet is carved into the lock. Ah. Oh. You unlock. Okay. If I remember right, in the original game, didn't that one have like a padlock on it? Oh. Oh, hello. Uh. Oh, blast. I don't have any kerosene. I'll have to come back and burn you. Oof. I guess we're going down these lovely stairs here. Oh, hello. You want to get up now? Like one's been dead for several hours. Okay, what we got in here? It's a save room! Woo! It's an old typewriter. If I had an ink ribbon, I could save my progress. Yay! Okay, so I aren't using the wolf at all. Give me my ink ribbons. Oh, my ink ribbons! So I can save my progress. Sweet! Well, guys, I think I should end the episode there. I could say, I think we've not done much progress, but we've done a little bit more progress. As in, this game has so many locked doors in it, you need to get to all these new areas and get all these keys and stuff, and you have to keep going back and forth, back and forth. But yeah, other than that, if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to Hulk smash the hell at that like button and ring my bell, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye!